teachers are just a special breed of people. Like it's it's true, I think. You don't go to teach to be prestigious and make a lot of money. You go there to really help people out. When people ask you what you teach, everyone knows answers like I'm teaching phys ed, I'm teaching science, I'm teaching kindergarten, I'm teaching high school. But teachers teach kids. I mean there is a curriculum for us to follow and all that stuff, but when it comes down to it, kids aren't going to remember biology for the rest of their lives. They're going to remember bits and pieces. We're teaching kids how to learn. We're teaching kids to put it to how to learn themselves throughout their life. The university community itself is a big part of what makes up Edmonton, gives it its character. I love the size of the city. I love the LRT accessibility, making it seem that much smaller. I love our cultural things that we celebrate here in the city, like Heritage Days. We have some of the best festivals during the summer. There's just so much to do here. You know, sometimes we forget what we have around us. It just happened to me within the last couple of days, you know, going outside and going for a little walk, realizing, you know, what, what a great place this is. We have great sports facilities, we have an art gallery, we have a shopping center. I mean, everything that uh, one looks for in a place of living, um, we, we have on this campus. We have beautiful architecture, we have great landscape, um, and wonderful people. Whether you're joining a dance club or hockey, uh, or intramurals, you're going to meet people from different faculties and you're going to really engage in inter interesting dialogue. The University of Alberta it has been a very rapidly growing campus, steadily growing and growing not only in numbers but definitely in international stature. So to have a U of A degree today really is becoming well recognized internationally. For me, at its best, teaching is about uh, fostering some kind of creativity or imagination. When I was in grade seven, my math teacher came up to me and he asked me if I could tutor another student in the class. I said, sure, why not? And as I was tutoring her, I really found a love for math. I really enjoyed explaining numbers and patterns and all that. And when she came out of the class with a B rather than the D that she walked in with, it was just that satisfaction that I helped her get there. And since then, I've always wanted to be a teacher. When I was really young, I was walking through the forest with my grandfather, with my uh, Guido, and there was something about, there's a deer trail, I remember, there's some pressed bushes, and uh, I remember going to my Guido and, and getting really excited going to him and telling him about this, like, look, Guido, like, this is where deers are, and you can see the trails, and you could see um, where the prints were and where the bee he was sleeping and stuff, and he called me Professor. And that was a nickname and moniker that stuck for years. So, and every time I saw him, even when I got older, uh, before he passed away, that was something that he always referred to me as was Professor, and that truly set me in that direction, that mind frame. Youth can be a very lonely time. You're just figuring your place in the world, and you're expected on one hand to act like a grown-up, but on the other, you still live at home, you don't earn your own income, you know, your parents still kind of treat you like a kid with curfews and, uh, and rules and those sorts of things, so you're sort of in limbo, and making connections with adults in an authentic way uh, is kind of rare and I think it can be really really helpful and meaningful to young people to have those connections to get some guidance that uh, doesn't point a finger and say go this way it opens up a bunch of paths and says take your pick I come to this place and I don't know who to go to where to ask questions um, just uh, be very open and and just know that there are people you know, that can help you, there are resources available and you have to uh, get to them yourself. I like that the, the professors are usually teachers or retired teachers or they've been in the education world and they've come to share their stories and experiences with us. 
it doesn't quite seem so overwhelming when you're here and you know that this is your home and there's people here you can count on and if you need anything they're here to help you out. I want to be a teacher so that I can influence the future generation to be educated, but not only educated, but to really better themselves. The teachers are really good because they're all, like, they're not just profs that are just teaching because they have to, they're actual former teachers. So they're bringing in their experiences into the classroom and teaching us. You're not going to get a good experience like that in a lot of other schools. I know where my home is at Leo Bay Campus. It's an Ed building. It's the only building I live in. I think we really do have an inviting and rich and collaborative context. My experience at the university so far has me wondering why didn't I come here sooner? <laughs> I always look back at the teachers that have been teaching me through university especially, and I find that their passion only generated more passion in me.